Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Maxwell4910 bringing you uh, Titanfall 2 Should You Buy X Bone versus the PS4 comparison type deal. Um, I got a Battlefield uh, 1 video coming out after this, but let's uh, let's get into Titanfall. That beta's been done for for about a week or so now. So, um, anyways, the biggest difference between the two is pretty much the controller. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that Xbox is not visually on par, but as you can see in this video, you'll see Xbox One uh, gameplay first, and then I'll switch over to the PS4. Visually, they're damn near the same. Um, if there is a bit difference, it's nothing that you're going to really notice. Um, as far as gameplay, um, PS4's controller, to me, feels a little bit better. It feels a little bit more comfortable. Um, it just seems to like the player, your player reacts better, um, if that makes any sense. Um, but I don't think it's anything to do with the actual game. It just might be me because I always, I started on PlayStation, so I've always kind of favored PlayStation. So that might be uh, a biased opinion on me. But as far as actual gameplay, it's pretty much identical, right? Um, me personally, I'm going to be picking it up for the Xbox because... I play Titanfall 1 on the Xbox One, and obviously that's where mostly the Titanfall players are, are on the Xbox. Um, should you buy the game? Let me get into this next topic. Should you buy the game? If you're looking for uh, the campaign, the campaign for Titanfall 2 looks promising. Um, their campaign, Titanfall 1, obviously we, knew, we know that all bombed. Um, so hopefully... Hopefully they do bring it. From what I've seen that's within the trailers and everything, it looks really, really good. If you're a campaign type player, I know a lot of the community and first person shooters just want to run and gun and PvP. If that's what you want to do, Titanfall's your game. If you're looking for a PvP great experience, you'll love Titanfall. And I know that a lot of Titanfall players on the Xbox One or uh, for Titanfall for Titanfall One, sorry can relate to that because Titanfall 1 was and I've told a lot of people this was one of the best PvP experiences I've ever had if you're looking for just PvP it's probably going to be your game the only reason or not the, and I can't say the only reason but one of the only reasons why Titanfall 1 didn't make it past you know 6 7 months is because the lack of weapons that they had to offer um and in the beta, they didn't really offer us that much. Um, they offered us more in the beta than the, the first game had altogether. So hopefully there are more weapons, but I haven't seen anything like that. And if and I hopefully Respawn learned from the first Titanfall that players want a variety of weapons to use. So hopefully they will correct that. Um, but yes, if you are looking for a great PvP experience, go pick this game up. You'll absolutely love it. And if you're if you're new to Titanfall being on the PS4, you'll absolutely love this game if you want to play PvP. But hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Hit that like button. I don't know how well I do in these videos. I just kind of put them together for a comparison. So hopefully I, I'm not dying like repeatedly. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Hit that like button. Sub if you haven't. And if you are a Battlefield fan, Stay tuned because uh, Battlefield 1 comparison between Xbox One and PlayStation 4 is also coming. I did play on PC, but we'll talk about that in the next video. So hit that like button, sub if you haven't, and I'll see you guys on my next video.